now let's talk about the field speed control or it is also called as field flux control now as the name suggests in this method we control the field flux to control the speed of the dc motor right now as we know the speed of the dc motor depends upon two factors and the formula uh, you can see on your screen so the speed is equals to es uh, that is supply voltage multiplied by 60 divided by z into 5 so definitely es and flux is the two things which you can control in order to control the speed now let's say if es is constant the supply voltage is constant then the only thing that remains is flux so you have to control the flux and in order to control the speed of the dc motor now as you can see the flux phi is inversely proportional to the speed of a dc motor that means if you are increasing the flux phi then the speed of the dc motor will decrease right and in similar way if you are decreasing the flux phi then the speed of the dc motor will increase that is inversely proportional if you uh, increase uh, one thing then the another thing will decrease and vice versa so that is inversely proportional and flux is inversely proportional to the speed now as we know to control the speed in this method we need to control the flux right now let's do some back calculation here so to control the flux what is the one thing that we need to control yes of course it is the field current because if you control the field current you can ultimately control the flux again to control the current what we need to do we need to control the field resistance provided our voltage is constant if our voltage is constant then if you vary the field resistance then the field current will change and that will ultimately cause change in the flux right so if you see here to control the flux we actually need to control the field resistance once the field resistance is under control the flux will come under control and hence the speed of the dc motor right understood to control the flux we need to control the field resistance so if you understood this then the diagram of field speed control will be very much easy for you to understand now let's look that look at that so what you can see on your screen is the systematic diagram for field speed control now here you can see we have connected a, a variable rheostat in series with the shunt field now of course we cannot control the resistance of this shunt field that's why we added a, a rheostat in series with the shunt field the same thing we did in case of armature resistance control method right this is the same thing the only difference is uh, in the armature control we connected a series rheostat in series with the armature but here we have connected that in series with the shunt field so if you control the resistance of this thing the variable rheostat the flux will change and that will cause change in the speed of dc motor so that's how it is done now to show you how exactly things work let's go to the whiteboard now let's say the supply voltage es what we have is let's say 100 volts and motor is running at a constant speed or at, let's say at, a, at its rated speed and the back emf at this position uh, at that speed is let's say 95 volts okay so how do we find the armature current in this case so for that we have formula i is equals to the supply voltage minus the back emf divided by the armature of resistance right so our supply voltage is 100 volt and the back emf is 95 volt divided by let's say the armature resistance is 1 ohm so that will give us the armature current of 5 ampere right this is the armature current at the rated speed now our motor is running at its rated speed and let's say suddenly we reduce we increase the resistance the field resistance so what will happen let's say we increase the rf that is field resistance it is increased so that will cause the uh, you know the excitation current ix to drop right ohm's law so once your current is dropped that will cause drop in the flux the flux will also drop because flux are directly proportional to the current 
if current is decreasing the flux will also decrease now since the flux in the machine is less the back emf generated will also be very less right 